Not sure about what micron water filter you need. Is it five, is it 10, is it 50 or, or 100? Is a lower number better or is a higher number better? Well, I'm gonna explain microns to you and I'm gonna help you choose what's best for your family starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. So as you can see, the filters all pretty much look the same, right? Well, believe me, they're quite different. This one's one micron, this one's five micron, this one's 25 microns, 50 microns, 100 microns, 2501, 5005, 75, 25. Now it doesn't matter if they're 10 inch big blue like these ones are, or 20 inch big blue, um, the, the small 10 inch slim line, they're all in a multitude of different uh, ratings, uh, micron ratings, and they all look the same. If you choose one that's too fine, you're gonna be replacing it way too often, and it's gonna be a pain. If you choose one that's too coarse, it may not do the job you need it to do, like pre-filtering the water for your ultraviolet disinfection system, and then you compromise that system. So sediment or dirt filters are rated by the microns that they filter down to. What's a micron anyway? Well, a micron is one millionth of a meter. What does that mean in, in everyday terms? Well, a hair is 45 microns thick or in diameter. A red blood cell is five microns. So when choosing a sediment filter for your family, you need to think, well, what do I want to accomplish? If it's a pre-filtration for an ultraviolet disinfection system, you need five microns. If you're trying to get rid, that, get rid of that gray silt that's in the water, that really fine stuff, it'll pass through a five micron filter. One micron would be a better choice for you. Um, if, if all you're trying to do is get rid of some dirt from the water because it's clogging up the screen in your uh, washing machine or something like that, then a, a 25 micron filter will work just just fine. If you've got a lot of dirt in your water, you may have to have different levels or, or different filters. So you may go with a coarse filter first. So you can maybe go with a 50 micron like this one here as the first line of defense and then go with a five micron filter because you still want to get it down to uh, for that ultraviolet disinfection system. So that you could use a couple filters. So another alternative when you need to get down to like a five micron filter for the ultraviolet light, but you're replacing it way too often is you can go with a dual gradient filter. So this is a 5005, for example. So it's 50 microns on the outside. So it's very coarse. So it gets out the heavy stuff, the big stuff, logs and frogs, we call it. And then in the middle is a five micron filter. So the bigger stuff gets stored in the outside, but you still get that five micron filtration. Now you can only get dual gradient filters in the big blue sizes at this time. So you need to uh, think about that. But what if you've got lots of sand in your water? You're constantly changing filters and it's a real pain. Well, then you can go with some, some other solutions. So you can go with the spin down filter. That's what this is. Basically, this is connected in line with your plumbing. The water flows in one side, goes across the filter. There's a screen inside here. That, uh, that filters out the water and then it continues on there. And then once a week or once every couple of weeks, you open up this valve at the bottom, you put a bucket underneath and it flushes the dirt that's been accumulated inside here out the bottom. And uh, so that's a great fil filter. Now the only negative of course is that you gotta remember to keep opening it and keep flushing it out. Another alternative is you can go with an automatic backwashing filter like this one uh, behind me here. So automatically it backwashes once a week or once every 10 days to get rid of the, the bulk of the water. So a Nexan backwashing filter will filter down to five microns, which is pretty fine. You'd still wanna, if you have an ultraviolet light, you'd still wanna follow it up with a, a, a five micron cartridge filter just to make sure you're getting down to that uh, five microns. So if you have a carbon filter as par part of your water filtration system, you'd wanna put that after the sediment filter. Sediment quickly clogs that carbon filter. So you wanna make sure the sediment filters first and then the carbon filter. For your next video on water filtration, click up here and I'll see you there.